Welcome to TCPDF Tutorial Video Chapter 2. In this video, I will explain and demonstrate how to use non Latin Unicode characters in PDF, created by PHP TCPDF Library. I will only cover Japanese, Korean, simplified Chinese, traditional Chinese, Hindi, Arabic, Thai, Cyrillic, Hebrew, and Greek. There are fonts which already included in TCPDF distribution to support those characters so we do not need to add custom font. Now let's get going. Before we begin, always remember to make sure that your PHP file encoding is set to UTF-8, not ANSI, or it simply won't work. Let's make a new file. Please download the PHP TCPDF library from the link provided in the description if you haven't already done so. Now let's create the PDF document by including the TCPDF class. Make a new TCPDF object. Here, we need to set the Unicode parameter to true, encoding to UTF-8, and optionally disk cache to false. Remove the default header and footer, we don't need them. Add a page. And call the output. Between the add page and output method, is where we will place the PDF content. Let's set a font and put a cell. From here on, TCPDF works the same way with FPDF library. Please watch my FPDF tutorial series to make yourself familiar with how PHP PDF library works. Let's see the result. Now let's add some non Latin character. I use Google Translate to make it easier. Now let's see how it turns out. As you can see here, the Japanese text I've just added turns into question marks. This means that Helvetica font we are currently use, does not support Japanese UTF-8 characters. In other words, that font does not have Japanese character in it. Let's take a look into TCPDF library's font directory. As you can see here, there are many fonts shipped in this library, and for Japanese characters, we can use CID0JP. Now let's change our font. It looks good. Now let's do another one. For Korean, we can use CID0KR. For traditional Chinese, we can use CID0CT.
for simplified Chinese, we can use CID0CS. For Hindi, we can use either free serif for serif, or free sans for sans serif. For Arabic, we can use free serif, e furat, or e al arabia. but not free sans. For Thai, we can only use free serif. Note that the Thai text I've just copied turns into boxes. This is because the font used by my text editor does not have Thai characters. Let's just leave it as it is. For Cyrillic, we can use free sans or free serif. For Hebrew, we can use free sans or free serif. For Greek, we can use free sans or free serif. You can experiment with another non-Latin UTF-8 character by yourself. This concludes this chapter of tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please kindly support me by liking my videos and subscribing this channel. Thank you very much. See you next time.